Jim Gelgen in the building. Nope, it's Mo9 the Polymath, and welcome to the Lyricist Lounge, place where the Lyricist Lounge, season three, coming right back at you. In the building, I got my main man, Q, producer, in house producer, representing the tribes. You know how we do, Lyricist Lounge, holding it down. I can say all those hip hop words that don't mean nothing from now till tomorrow, but we got a special guest, and our special guest is no stranger to hip hop. No stranger to organizing hip hop shows, no stranger to holding it down, no stranger to having a Rick Ross beard. Sorry, I didn't say that. He's no stranger to realness, no stranger to Juba, no stranger to Jalof music, he's no stranger to anything. You can tell him nothing. Mama just let you guys hold that thought before you start guessing. Hold it. Right now, we got some three beautiful videos, three hip hop videos for you to watch and enjoy before we bring him on. You already know, you know that. Lyricist Lounge, Polymath, I'll see you. You just watch those lovely videos. And guess what? Those videos, like, you see the same people in some of the videos. And yes, I want to talk about um, hip hop, but um, I really don't think it's necessary right now because. What people like Luis Kanan have done for the game is probably like, is not one of the branches of hip hop, it's a sub branch. That's the entrepreneurism side, where you actually build. And people, the sad thing is that people who do this, people who take part in the building, when they're doing the housewarming, some people leave their heart. So that's why, shout out to my boy Luis Kanan for actually taking his music career seriously putting out singles shooting videos and trying to get that album popping because we don't want to be part of the building and when it comes to the housewarming we're left out so we build to do the half housewarming later so shout out to all those builders out there it's all love it's all cool after this i'm gonna bring my man loose Kaden in so we can talk one on one one on one we'll be back it's loose in the building. Loose Kano. What's up, Grand Family? What's going on? Like literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ever since uh, last year, two years ago, I just can't stop doing that, man. It's funny, man. So yes, we have Nigerians, but he's not the guy who the things where that guy do. You know they do him all, but even though rest in peace with the guy, proof. But some things where the guy do him do, like you know. The, what they call that place, the shop, the shop or something like that, where oh, rappers, was doing. yeah, where rappers used to go to uh, rap, where Elzai took Drake, yeah. Young Drizzy, was with Elzai. Elzai took him and showed him the place. And look, this is where we rap. Yeah. You know, that's why Drake will always say nice things about El. El Elzai is one of the best rappers I know in the game, but one of the underrated ones. So you've seen a lot of very great rappers, but underrated kids that are dope. That don't even know where to go. They just know that they have skills. They sit at home, write rhymes. And the only place they could come and show the skills was on a Monday night. Yeah, wax noodle. Yeah. So, what happened? Are you guys still doing it, or? Yeah, definitely. We're, we're having a few problems with the venue. Okay. And uh, when I started doing the show, I wanted I wanted it to be a one venue show. But yeah. we're thinking of tinkering with that situation right now. Mm. Yeah, but definitely works a little bit. So like I was saying before, I said something about, you know, you're actually taking part. It's, very, it's a very important part of hip-hop, the growth of hip-hop in Nigeria, because you're helping to build. But what we're trying not to do is, we're trying not to build, and when they're doing the housewarming, we'll not be there. So that is why we're, you're, you're putting out singles and you're an artist first yeah, and yeah, foremost. Yeah, I'm an artist first and foremost. Like, that's how I got in the game as a rapper. But I just came up with a platform that I felt would help advance the game, that I felt would help other artists own their craft and everything. But I'm a rapper first and foremost. I'm an artist first and foremost. And so I that means, first and foremost. like, people, right? Yeah. Some people will just be content, you know, building, 
you know, having young rappers come, do their thing, and then seeing the game change and everything. But then they kind of get carried away and will not probably want to drop a single. I see you're not like that. You're getting it in hard body. Yeah, uh, we, the project is already done. A couple of projects have been recorded. We're just trying to figure out ways yeah, to put Gemini it out. Gemini project, yeah, right? Because if it's by me, you need you know to come give that verse though. You know, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> you need to come give that verse though. There, there's no way you can put that Gemini Definitely. project out. We could do that right oh! now. <laughs> 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 oh, I have to be on it, man. June 14, June 14, yeah, birthday mate. So we gotta do that one song, shoot a granny video and then put it in. I, so you have the project, Gemini Project. Yeah, That's the album project. Going? And we don't know what the album will be called. We know the Gemini Project. I'm going to put out two installments of it because it's not a mixtape and it's not an album Good. because it's all original music. It's, pro it's a project. Yeah, it's a project. So we put two Good. installments of that out. Me and Kid Connect have been working on that. Shout out to Kid Connect and a few other producers. Shout there. out to Kid Shout Connect. Out to Kid Connect. <laughs> That's the home. Yeah. Kid Connect. <laughs> So it's all good now. We heard uh, Little Bird, or not, no Little Bird, it's everywhere that uh, you are signed to uh, Loopy, right? Yeah, Loopy Music. Loopy Music. How many of you guys are signed? Uh, right now, uh, they got me, they got Ruby, Ruby, awesome soul singer, you guys know Ruby. And they got DJ Lambo, she's officially a Loopy Music artist too. Artist? The, yeah. Like, is she gonna DJ or sing or? She do everything. She can rap? She write the records I do that. She DJ Lambo can rap? Yeah. Like, I know DJ Lambo from Abuja. <laughs> and I know she's, you know, she's right there. She's in how they would say on the streets of Lagos. Her head, they there. Yes. yes. You know? And yeah, she can DJ. I, I didn't really know she could DJ. I knew her before. Oh, she's a great DJ. You know? She's a great DJ. I knew, I knew her before I knew she was a DJ. I used to just call her Lamb. That's what I used to call her. So yeah, she's doing her thing. So you got Ruby, Ruby, I know. Yeah. So you're like the only rapper, like the rap, rapper, you're the rapping guy. Basically, I guess. So that means like, do you guys have a roster? Or are you all guys, are you, all of you guys coming out at the same time? Or is it you first and Ruby or you and Ruby? I mean, I, I don't know that there's any time. We, 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 we are working so hard. I mean, I'm in the studio 24 seven. Ruby too is doing her thing, so. Nobody has no time for a roster. I got this product. I have a way. I think we should work it. Let's go. Good. And the now, label, the label is there, yeah. waiting for that. Like now, me, I know that you've worked with a lot of artists. Like I'm talking about when you were doing your shows, you know, okay. all these freestyling cats. You know, yeah. you know quite a few of them yeah. who come around to do free. Has there ever been a time when one of them would just walk up to you like, you know, some of these young guys are like, yo, loose, man, I'm just a few seeing. I won't bow to you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that happened all the time on my show. Because, and I understand the mentality behind it. You walk in the room, you feel like, okay, if that's the head honcho in the room, if I knock him out, then the other guy, you, you, you take over the yeah. show. <laughs> I know what Luce does to them. Luce just looks at them. And then Luce has this agreement, like arrangement, sorry, with the DJ, Mexi. He just looks at Mexi. The guy plays next, he starts switching speeds on you. <laughs> That's all. Right, man. Right, we'll but, we'll let them get the shot. Like, you want battle nah, fire? That was Let's a go. joke. That Let's was go. a joke. Did you ever battle any of these kids? A lot of them. Wow. Let's go. I mean, it's, it's, it's a platform. It, to me, it's fun. It's so, come on. And, like, they have nothing to lose, and you have everything to lose because you're like the head on you. That means I'm taking it that you didn't lose any of them. Yeah, that. but I know I'll not lose. I, I, I do not lose. So, let's go. Nice, that's on some Jay-Z tip. <laughs> I will not lose. Definitely not. But it's all good. Lou, sir, I just want to ask you one last question. How do you fare under pressure? Because mm, I, mean, I know you're well informed. Well, but if somebody was to put, you know, undue influence is different from duress, it's different from undue duress pressure. Mm -hmm. If you just join all of them and say undue duress pressure, how would you fare under that? Would you crumble or would you just face it? You, d you don't have a choice, you don't run from pressure, you face it and you give you your best shot. So that means you're gonna, you know, try and face it in the pressure room. I don't even have to try, I just do it. You hold it down, right? Definitely. You sure about that? <laughs> we'll find out when we come back, where we'll go put loose on the pressure. You yeah. know how we do it, Lyricist Lounge. <laughs>